Have you ever considered the hidden impact of melting glaciers on our carbon emissions? As the world grapples with climate change, one of the most visible signs of our warming planet is the rapid retreat of glaciers. These icy behemoths, once considered immovable and eternal, are melting at an unprecedented rate. But the consequences of this phenomenon extend far beyond the loss of majestic landscapes and rising sea levels. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does a melting glacier have to do with carbon emissions? After all, it's just water, right? Well, not exactly. You see, glaciers are more than just frozen water. They are time capsules holding within their icy depths secrets from our planet's past. As glaciers melt, they don't only release the water they contain, but also the ancient carbon trapped within. This carbon, once safely locked away in the form of methane and carbon dioxide, is now being released into our atmosphere. It's like opening a Pandora's box of greenhouse gases, adding to our already critical carbon problem. Take, for example, the Arctic glaciers. Their rapid retreat has exposed hundreds of groundwater springs, releasing ancient methane, believed to be millions of years old. This potent greenhouse gas, about 30 times more effective at trapping heat than carbon dioxide, is now seeping out into our atmosphere. And here's the kicker. This source of methane wasn't even accounted for in our existing climate models. So, the situation is graver than we initially thought. The melting glaciers are not just causing sea levels to rise, they're also contributing to the increase in greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, accelerating the pace of global warming. It's not just about rising sea levels and disappearing landscapes. Melting glaciers add to the carbon problem too. Now let's delve into the domino effect of this phenomenon, starting from the glaciers and leading to our mountain rivers. As global temperatures rise, glaciers, those magnificent frozen rivers of ice, begin to melt. This meltwater, warmed by the sun, flows down from the icy heights, forming the headwaters of many mountain rivers. As more and more glaciers melt, the volume of this warm meltwater increases, leading to warmer mountain rivers. But why does this matter? Well, the temperature of a river plays a crucial role in its ecosystem. As the waters warm, they can no longer support some of the cold-loving species that once thrived there. These changes can disrupt the food chain, affecting everything from microscopic organisms to large predators. But there's another, less obvious consequence. Warmer waters can also lead to increased carbon emissions. You see, rivers and streams are teeming with life, including countless microorganisms. These tiny creatures feed on organic matter in the water, a process that releases carbon dioxide. When the water is cold, this process is slow. But as the water warms, it speeds up releasing more and more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The warming of mountain rivers is just one of the many ways that melting glaciers can contribute to climate change. But it's a significant one, and it's happening right now in rivers all over the world. It's a ripple effect that starts at the highest peaks and flows down to the smallest streams, impacting our carbon emissions along the way. So how does this all fit into the bigger picture of climate change? Let's start with a basic understanding. Increased carbon emissions contribute to global warming, this happens because carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases trap heat in the atmosphere, causing the Earth's temperature to rise. Now couple this with the chain reaction we've been discussing. Melting glaciers lead to warming rivers, which then result in increased carbon emissions. This cycle accelerates the pace of climate change. But what does this look like in reality? Picture this. As glaciers retreat, they expose ancient methane reserves, a potent greenhouse gas. This was the case in Svalbard, Norway, where retreating Arctic glaciers have led to the release of ancient methane into the atmosphere. Although this is currently a small portion of global emissions, it's a significant issue if similar phenomena are occurring in other regions of the Arctic. So, what's being done to mitigate these effects? Well, in northern Sweden, a unique experiment was conducted on the Helegs Glacier. A cloth sheet made of wool and cornstarch was used to cover a small part of the glacier, saving at least three and a half meters in height from melting. This biodegradable cloth sheet could be a hands-on action to mitigate global warming. Meanwhile, in Switzerland, the government is taking a more legislative approach. They've launched revised proposals to meet their target of having greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. This includes significant investments in greener buildings and transport improvements, as well as maintaining a tax on fossil fuels. These examples show us that the fight against climate change is not one-dimensional. It involves a combination of scientific innovation, policy changes, and hands-on action. The battle against climate change is complex and multifaceted, with melting glaciers playing a larger role than we might have imagined. So, where do we stand in this scenario and what can we do about it? It's a question that demands our attention. We've discussed the unseen consequences of melting glaciers, 
the transformation of glaciers to mountain rivers, and the impact all this has on climate change. We've learned about the potential increase in carbon emissions and the disturbing release of ancient methane. What we do next matters. We all have a role to play, and our collective action can make a difference in combating climate change. This calls for us to stay informed, to understand the science, and to recognize the importance of glaciers and rivers in our global ecosystem. But it's not just about understanding, it's about action. We can reduce our carbon footprint, support renewable energy initiatives, and advocate for policies that protect our environment. We can be inspired by innovative solutions, like the cloth sheet experiment in Sweden, which shows how hands-on action can help protect our glaciers. Remember, our everyday choices matter. Whether it's the food we eat, the products we buy, or the way we travel, every decision has an impact. Every glacier, every river, and every choice we make plays a part in the story of our planet. It's time we take responsibility for our role in it. Thank you for subscribing to my project paper and for joining us on this journey of understanding and action. We've unraveled the intricate tapestry of our environment, and it's clear that we all have a part to play in its preservation. This is the moment to make a difference, and it starts with a simple pledge to avoid unnecessary purchases. Every product we buy has a carbon trail, and by being mindful of our consumption, we can help reduce the pressure on our planet. Imagine the impact if we all made this small change. Imagine the message it would send to industries worldwide. This isn't about sacrifice, but about making smart, sustainable choices. It's about understanding that the future of our planet is in our hands. We've seen the melting glaciers, we've seen the swelling rivers, and we've seen the impacts of climate change. Now let's see the power of our collective action. Let's show the world that we understand our role and that we're ready to act on it. Together we can make a difference. Let's protect our planet, one choice at a time. Remember, every glacier saved is a victory against climate change. And it all starts with you. It starts now.